Hi, this is Brandon Smilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're going to talk about an exercise called the two-way broad jump. This is a great broad jump variation that can work on counter movement and helping you teach your kids to limit ground contact time, but jumping for distance and getting some triple extension and a little bit different planes of motion and how they're going to move. What I really like about this is it works really good for like football linemen or people that have to get down like a linebacker where they're going to have to react and push horizontally into something. Usually you're going to see that in football and like wrestling. Um, it, it's also got some other good you know, points behind it, the fact that we're not only just jumping that direction, but you can see a lot from your sprinters as well, the way they have to get in their blocks and push horizontally to get moving through space down the track. So. We've seen a lot of good success with this. Um, our kids seem to like it. It seems to be a really good popular exercise when we program it. Kids tend to, to kind of grab a hold of it and take off with it rather than just doing your standard broad jump. So what we're going to do is I'm going to basically jump backwards with a small counter motion and then I'm going to jump as far as I can with the broad jump. So what that's going to do is it's going to let me load basically my glutes and my hamstrings a little bit more so we're going to use that stretch shortening cycle to our advantage and then we're going to push as far as we can and jump so think of this um, as a an option i guess so to speak if you don't want to do a depth drop you're going to get kind of a similar action in terms of how you're going to load everything we're just going to load it through a different plane of motion so i'm going to jump back jump as far as i can but the jump back does not have to be big Make sure you emphasize that. It's not how far you can jump back, it's how far you can jump forward. So your athletes will find that there's a sweet spot of how far they have to jump back before they make that, that good big broad jump. So we're gonna be here, back, stick. Back, little jump. Again. So notice that I'm able to really get back on my toes. I'm in a good position before I uh, propel myself forward. Again, just make sure you're counting your ground contact time, or you're, you're limiting your ground contact time, I'm sorry, but also counting how many times you're having ground contacts. You got that initial jump back, and then a jump. So you got double the amount for your standard, just regular broad jump. Um, and I can tell you just from jumping right now, I can definitely feel that in my, my toes, so to speak, the way that they're loaded here um, when I hit that counter moving back. So we program these for three, four, five, sometimes six sets, usually in the three to five rep range. And then, you know, we, we move on with our training program. Um, I personally feel like this is a very underrated broad jump exercise. Um, we've had a lot of good success with it with our swimmers and our track and field athletes when it comes to pushing off walls and pushing off uh, blocks, so to speak. So if you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.